Alright guys, so this is going to be my 200 sub video, a uh, special kind of thing. Classic Steve came up with the idea to make a Minecraft video, but I'm really bad at like survival builder games, so I'm going to like attempt, I'm playing the demo, so I only have like an hour and a half, but <laughs> I'm going to attempt to do like a kind of build where it shows like various parts of my life, and I kind of want to make a thing at the end, thanking all the people that like commonly st uh, stopped by the channel. Even though I do appreciate everybody that subbed, I'm just going to do a shout out for all the people that I see like pretty frequently on the channel. So I'm going to get building and hopefully by the time I get done it looks like something. So, alright. Oh. Oh. Hey, yes. Okay. Alright, now what are we going to do? Get off me, cows. Alright guys, so my humble beginnings about, uh, probably when I entered the 8th grade, I actually started farming with my grandpa, so that's why you have all these cows. And I did that for about 8 years, all the way through, from middle school all the way to the end of my college career, to be honest with you, so. That was a big part of my life and I don't know how to make like fields or anything because really I was a produce farmer but I like cows a lot so we'll just spawn cows and that'll signify it. And I didn't really have like, um, so I had a one older sister growing up and it was just me and my dad uh, living together. It was actually pretty cool. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I can't complain. Really I lived a lot by myself because my dad was out working or doing something so I pretty much lived by myself so I got a strong sense of independence early um i'm gonna try to build some other stuff <laughs> this is so hard for me i'm you see what i made this took me a solid like 10 minutes and my cows just keep escaping i don't know where they're going but uh, they're going out into the sea to drown themselves i'm guessing which is kind of dark but yeah i did figure out how to make it daytime so that's good i guess the next part of my life would be college so i gotta figure out how to make that i wish you could spawn people in this but i heard that was taken out I don't know if they ever added it back, but it doesn't look so. So, we'll have to do it without people. I don't know how we're gonna actually do it, but whatever. Okay, we finally finished it. So I think I did this backwards, but it's supposed to be UNCG, but I think I dyslexic'd it, but that's fine. So I will say college was like some of the best times of my life. Um, this took me forever to build, by the way. This was a struggle. But basically, I will say that you meet a lot of really cool people. Because I was always, when I was in high school, I came from like a really small town. And I always loved video games and all that nerdy stuff. So I didn't really fit in too good for that. I had like two friends. And one of them was my cousin. It was like my cousin and my friend Timmy. So, yeah, there wasn't too many people that liked the same hobbies I did. I think there were a few others, but no like real big friendships there. And then when I went to college, everybody was like so different. Like everybody, there was a lot of people like me. I met one of my best friends now named Andrew. You saw, he's been in a few of my videos. But yeah. Um, so I will say if you're going to college for like computers, because I went for information systems and operation management, that's what my major was. Um, I would say just get your certifications for your computer stuff and like try to learn on your own through books. Because basically, when you go to class, all they're going to be doing to you is reading those books in the first place. And a lot of them have like had no success in the computer field to begin with. So they shouldn't really be teaching you stuff. Like, I really don't think I learned anything too useful. Some of the stuff I used while I was in the military, but not much. Like, all my college like information. It's good to get a degree, but if you're going to get one, I would not get it in computer stuff. Like, if you want to do computer stuff, I would like self-teach yourself. Um, start taking certifications for CompTIA, maybe find a class for CompTIA, or uh, what's the other one, CCNA. Um, but yeah, I would recommend like getting your certifications over getting a college degree if you want to do stuff in technology. Um, like now, the job I have has nothing to do with IT, so. But that's, that's some of my wisdom if you're planning on going to college for like computers. Unless you want to do like computer science or something like that, or programming then college might be all right for you. But if you're just trying to learn how to work on, if you're just trying to learn um, how networks work and stuff like that, 
I would just self-teach your stuff because they're just going to be reading you a book anyways, to be honest with you. It's kind of a waste of time. But college is a good experience, and getting that piece of paper actually is nice for career advancement down the field, uh, down the road. Um, so I would do it again. I know I'm butt tons of student loan, but I would do it again just because of all the experience made me who I am today. And now we'll move on to our next thing, which is going to take me forever to build. I got to hurry up. I only got 50 minutes left in this demo. <laughs> So, you know, I'm going to be crack lacking There's our UNCG house. Here's our beginning house. I found out to put a roof, by the way. If y'all want to see my roof, it's pretty cool. See, look at this. I made a roof. It's awesome. Yeah, good job, me. Okay. There's not much flat land in Minecraft, dude. I'm, like, having to make all this flat land. I suck at this. I'm so bad at Minecraft. Oh, is this flat? It's a miracle. Okay, that's where we're building the next place. <laughs> <laughs> all right back to work boys all right guys so i don't know what this is supposed to symbolize but this is supposed to be my time in the army um, and i can only talk from my experiences so i'm not trying to uh talk bad about her too much really but i could say i had some of the worst experiences in my life in the army <laughs> granted i would do it again because i met some really awesome people had really cool leadership and it definitely developed my personality into what it is today. So I will say that there were a lot of good things. I got a lot of experiences I wouldn't be able to do anywhere else. But I will just say, um, when you join the army, if you're only if you're not planning to do your 20 years and become a lifer, you're really putting your life on pause. So if you have like any dreams or anything you really want to work towards, towards, and it doesn't have to do with your job in the army, then you're really putting your life on pause for four hours for you. Or whatever your contract is and there's nothing wrong with that it's a definitely a selfless job because you're basically uh you're not advancing your life for four years it kind of feels like you could save up your money and stuff like that but you can it's really hard to work towards your dreams and aspirations depending on your job of course that's why i say this is only from my experience because really i had no time to do anything but army stuff while i was in the army and it is a hard job you will have so much stuff that you will have to deal with and it will make no sense to you whatsoever um but you will meet some awesome people you'll meet some awesome leadership but you will be sucking if you have a job that's depending on your job i guess i can only speak i was a combo dude i was not infantry but i was in an infantry company so every time they'd go to the field, I'd be in the field. Every time they'd do training, I'd be doing training. And I was like the RTO for the commander. So like, it's a very time consuming um, job, but I would do it again just for the experience. And don't let people lie to you. I know recruiters will tell you, oh, basic training is not that bad. Blah, blah, blah. And it really isn't, but the shell shock from when you first get in there can break people. <laughs> You'll see people uh it's it's definitely a different experience but once you get through it like when you're in like the regular army you're like man i missed basic training that was such a simpler time they just told me what to do every day but yeah that's really all i have to say about it it was a really good ex no i wouldn't say a really good experience but you'll definitely get to test your limits and see things um see some crazy stuff <laughs> <laughs> that's all I could say and as long as you can keep your head right you'll make it through it and it's it's definitely I'd say it was worth it it was worth it it wasn't worth it while I was in because my whole life was on pause and I had so many things I wanted to do but I would do it again uh, if, when I was getting out I would I was saying though I wouldn't do it again I've wasted like four years of my life Nah, it, it actually is a good experience I took a lot from it I would never do it again um, but if I could go back in time and had the choice again i would do it again <laughs> there we go that sounds better all right to the last part about me anyways holy crap i'm a ginger all right well guys this is the final part of this video nowadays i'm actually super happy with life as it is to be honest i have a really cool job i work at a call center which people will complain about call centers but the only thing that's bad about it is is you get yelled at by a lot of people which i got used to that anyways while i was in the military so like it doesn't bother me too much sometimes they'll get a little bit under my skin but you just shrug it off you just gotta be a little bit mentally resilient 
like but it's a really good job it's the easiest job i've ever had it's a lot better than farming or working in the military that's for sure and the benefits are good so i'm really happy with it and um yeah i think some of the funniest calls were when people were actually mad at me so <laughs> it's like they sometimes there's a thing where they can schedule a payment twice and they'll be like i need you to cancel this payment i didn't schedule it but they're the only ones that can schedule the payment so it's just like yes you did and the money's gone so we can't do it you just have to call them to get your money back and they're like no you have to fix this right now it's like sir i understand but i can't <laughs> like there's no way but yeah it's fun like it's a good job i really enjoy it um and i got my own place now which is really nice and i can make youtube videos so i'm living the good life i'm actually super happy about it and uh yeah this has been my minecraft build your life kind of thing i know it's not good <laughs> i know it's not good but that's this is the best i could do for really maybe i don't know if it's requested i might go back to it and try to learn things but this is me first time trying to build stuff in minecraft i played it back in the day with my buddies but i didn't know what to do so i kind of just broke their stuff and they got mad at me but <laughs> yeah it's a good game uh no it's not a good game uh this has been a fun experience i don't know if it's a good game or not but fun experience all right now to the final part of the video where i thank all the people that check in on me and comment on my videos and all that good stuff and also i just want to thank again all the people who have subscribed commented and liked um if i could i would do a video <laughs> i would include you all in the video but this part's mainly for the people that have been with me since like for a while now so give me one moment. I gotta figure out how to do this. Alright, I give up. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to make like skins. So I could like do a little skin for everybody as I was like talking about them. But too hard for the trial anyways. I can't figure out how to do it in the trial. So basically first off I'd like to thank Sonic. Because Sonic is like the first one that found my stream when I was on the Fluffy Panda Gaming stream on Twitch. And uh, he helped me play through... Um, Undertale and he's been with me ever since so he's always been a really good buddy of mine and he was like the first person I found while streaming new videos next I'd like to thank Nona Nona was with me so I, I always remember her first from Battle Chasers but I think she was with me before that but I'm really bad with names which was also sometime last year I started streaming like I think it was last year it could have been two years ago 2018 it's 2019 now so it was like two years ago okay yeah so i met sonic two years ago and i met Nuna, nona not uh short after that about two years ago those are the two that have been with me since twitch i had some other people too um i don't know if they ever found out i started a youtube channel but mr fat cow who would always flame me <laughs> and I had a bunch of drunk streams on Twitch too, so I can't remember everybody. And I feel bad about that. And I'm bad with names anyways. And then I'd like to thank Platts. Platts was one of the first people to keep commenting on my YouTube videos. And he did a lot of... He's made a lot of game suggestions and stuff like that. And now I'd like to thank Kobu Jinkai. He actually popped into one of my streams recently. Um, he was like really helpful when I was playing when the darkness comes which was like the biggest video I've ever made on uh, YouTube so far And then I would like to thank classic Steve classic Steve is the one that actually requested that I play minecraft for the 200 subs and This is what I'm good at. I'm good at destroying things. I'm not good at building stuff. I like killing stuff <laughs> um, And then I'd also like to thank Blinka Botovix. I, I probably butchered your name and I apologize. <laughs> I do appreciate all, both y'all. Everybody stopping in and commenting all the time. And I think Kenny Lauderdale was like the first person to say they actually enjoyed my anime review videos. So I do appreciate that as well. <laughs> that actually gave me motivation to do them more. Also, I'd like to thank uh, Granny Gamer for checking in uh, every now and then. And Expression Gaming for the shout out. So... And I will leave both of their links in the uh, description below. They both have YouTube channels and then they do gaming videos as well. So if you like gaming videos, you should check them out. And again, uh, yeah, I kind of forgot that the first time. So <laughs> damn horses are strong, man. This thing is not dying. Can you kill it? Oh, I got an idea. 
Hold on. Yeah. Haha. -ha! Okay, that was kind of fucked up, but <laughs> but yeah. And I want to just thank everybody in general that has subbed, commented, and liked my videos, or even watched. I do appreciate it a lot. Did that cow just fall from the heavens? <laughs> he was trying- Oh shit, that's a spider! Oh god, okay. That scared the fuck out. It hissed at me. Alright. I was playing in creator mode, so I wasn't used to the spiders. <laughs> but yeah. I want to, uh, thank everybody again. Uh, without that, I've, I've loved watching the channel grow, and I do plan on still making a lot of videos and streaming what I can. Um, and if I forgot you during my shout out, I apologize. And I didn't shout out the IOEans. Those are my like IRL buddies. Um, we were game buddies at first, and then we met at IRL, so we count as IRL buddies now, I think. And then, of course, my cousin Cody and Andrew, they should already know. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, as always. If you like videos like these, please like and subscribe. Bye!